Hi everyone, it's Dees. Hope everyone's well. Well, can you guess where we are? You probably know from the title of the video. <laughs> but I thought I would show you one of my builds on Minecraft. I am just standing on the building which my daughter built and I'm looking down at that desert area and the surrounding area and this is where my family and I started our Minecraft world. So this is the spawn area and just down there the desert style building is my first build that I did on Minecraft about two and a half years ago now I think that's how long we've been doing it for and my two sons my older son's partner my son-in-law my daughter hubby and myself all play in this world so we play survival in peaceful mode so there are no aggressive mobs so I thought I would show you today the sanctuary there the desert looking area and my mushroom village over here and we'll leave my other builds for another time otherwise the video will be way too long maybe in the future I can show you some builds that my family have done this house floating house over there with the balloons on the top my daughter did this castle still not quite complete I think the castle itself is but as far as inside the buildings and all my son-in-law did that this is a theme park and my daughter helped me with that so that'll be another day a little driving theatre our daughter built so anyway I can show you that another time so let's fly over to the sanctuary down there and I'll take you to my first build just a little disclaimer 
a lot of these builds are tutorials that we've followed from other channels so some things are our idea and other things aren't and that castle my son-in-law followed a tutorial you might recognize certain things so just thought I would throw that out there oh and this dog over here looks like a growling bear but that was Rita she passed away a bit over a year ago now and my son made that in memory of her which is really nice to have in this world so let's start in the main sanctuary house which is basically a storage area but now I have shulker boxes and still keep some things in here most of the good stuff's gone <laughs> so This whole idea of this sanctuary is for well basically a place a getaway place so out here is nice sitting areas with lots of ponds and water features you can see benches everywhere another pond we did have a train coming down here initially but and I think the foxes have pinched all the fish so I did put a fence around this one and you can see the fish down there in the water they like grouping up together in a corner usually so it was unusual to actually see them but I haven't played this for over six months I'm very proud of my palm tree that I made. Now these builds I followed a tutorial on YouTube. If I come across the channel or remember it or if I can find it I will definitely link it below in the description um, but because it's been a couple of years I just can't remember offhand. So these buildings, I did follow a tutorial. So this is the office which Rancho Relaxo. It's meant to be a zero. I mean a O, not an A. <laughs> so I have to fix that. But you come in and. You will be given a room to stay and all sorts of things to do, classes to take, you can fish, stargazing, cooking classes, knowing all about herbs. 
art classes, pottery classes, you name it. This sanctuary has it. So at the moment I've just got the two two rooms here and I plan on putting more in but you know what it's like when you're building sometimes you semi finish something and then you can't wait to start something else so I've named the buildings Amberine and Red Ochre here comes the evening now I initially put this here as a place um, to wait for the train but the train track has gone so my husband built this over here and I will show you that another day but that is what that is over here and then you walk into the sanctuary now this is a tunnel that will bring you to the seashore and you have some nice lookouts over there so we'll just bring you around here you can get to the seashore this end that's where we were so just follow the tunnel around you can also have tours of the mine supervised tours only this is where you can meditate or do some outdoor yoga And this is the area where you can do some arts and crafts and other things. And you can just follow the path to the seashore from the top here, or you can go through that tunnel. So I've put plenty of flowers around. some beehives and there's signs everywhere now just before we go on the along the seashore I'll show you the community kitchen which is sort of hidden So this is where everyone can cook and eat. Plenty of bench space. Smorgasbord. So I thought that was nice to do that. here you can just hang out in the garden here's another lookout and over there I've made a train station and there's a lot of amethyst there so I've called that amethyst and station
but I will show you that another day. So let's go back. I'll take you through the tunnel. some things that still need to be neatened up a little bit but so we'll take the shortcut rather than go down there we'll come down this way seashore and look out there's quite a few lookouts so There's Amethyston Station. While I was building this area, I made this little nook with some more storage space, some chests. And later on I made this bridge to get to the station you can come up here and there's some seating and just sit and relax there's some more covered seating area I love the glow berries and just extended that around here the cave and I've just stopped here so over there is my son and his girlfriend's town it is huge so one day I'll show you that absolutely enormous So let's go back up on here and we'll go up to the lookout from this end. So everywhere you go there's nice views. So that's where we were before. Now of course I fly everywhere so community kitchens just that way. So this is another place to sit and look. So that is the sanctuary. So now I will take you to the mushroom village. So if you like, you can pause the video and have a little bit of a break, grab a drink, grab a cup of coffee or tea and come back and I will take you through my mushroom village. a magnificent castle it's 
So, this is my mushroom village and the main house, big house over there. That was a tutorial that I followed, although mine turned out a bit different, but I followed it to a certain point and it got too hard for me, so I it might be slightly different. <laughs> But it's roughly yeah the same I think I've got a librarian in there and golems protecting the village I've had to put fences up everywhere because they do like to wander away. So, where should we start? I think we'll start in this house. It's the first house that I built. And it's called Shroom Pass. This village. Oops. do that a lot. <laughs> Hello Gollum. And so I love the coloured glass. There's all beds for the villagers. I used to have a lot more villagers. Um, but maybe they fall down some places. I'm not sure but this is a cool house. So I've built lots of little mushroom houses. What are you doing up there? There's two of them. Privacy. a little beehive. Again I had to fence these off because the foxes just kept taking the fish which is a shame but should make it deeper and then it might not happen. But, yep I made some tall mushrooms. two uh, connected in the middle and I love all the views I wasn't meant to do that and this takes you to the theme park As I mentioned, will be another video. Hello, Gollum. This is another bigger house I made. Lots of beds in there. I'll go down here now. So it's basically just a lot of a lot of mushroom houses. It's very bright and colourful, I like it. This one always goes in the water. 
And what's happened here? That used to be that used to be a double gate. But anyway, that takes you to the shore. This looks really nice at night. So you can get back up to the main house this way as well. And then I've just put another three houses sort of built it into the landscape and then here from there all the way I just came and some vegetables and the librarian and all the nice views He's got the best views actually. So that's it. That is my sanctuary and my mushroom village. So let me know what you think. That's the sanctuary down there where we started. And then we walked all the way up here. And yeah, there's so much more to see. This is where we all started, so that's amazing that castle. So yeah, maybe next time I will show you the theme park. My husband, I'll fly over to this tree stump. He's making a big, a giant tree house. And I'll quickly give you a sneak peek of the theme park from there. Will I make it? Will I make it? Will I make it? Yes. <laughs> So that is the theme park. And this is my little emerald tower that I made. This area here. So that will be the next video. Okay guys. Just coming on here makes me want to build again whoop that was a bit of a hard landing I'm not used to it <laughs> okay so thank you everyone for watching do leave me a comment and let me know what you think I'm not the best builder but I have a lot of fun and 
I like to follow some tutorials, it helps me out. But it's such a fun game to play. You have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone, bye for now.